Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Friday after the Thursday. That was Thanksgiving. This uh, trading day means a lot to me. Back in 2000, uh, we had a dollar yen order. I was living in Paris. Uh, my partner came in for the weekend from London. We had a dollar yen order at 102.48 to sell dollar yen. Um, and as the morning wore on, we went for coffee, had some croissants, and we were deciding about the liquidity. And we decided around 9.30 a.m. that it wasn't really a good day to break trade, so we canceled our orders. Market was trading at 102.90. And then we walked to a place called Blue Billiards, Bleu, Blue Billiard. Uh, we started shooting pool, drinking some beers. Um, and of course, dollar yen collapsed that day. Went through 102.50 all the way down to um, 142 in like a straight line. And I always remember it because it was early in my trading career, and, and we sat there and we kind of laughed, but sort of cried that um, the decision to play billiards that morning cost us 25 grand, uh, which at the time was a lot of money for us. And so every Friday after Thanksgiving, I always remember this and pay tribute to it, to the, uh, and I also pay tribute to the, to the winding road that is trading. Um, you know, the key is just to keep learning and also never forget. Part of it is like never forget. So of course today I'm looking at dollar yen. I don't see any great levels, um, but if dollar yen for some reason does go down through 138 the figure, um, <laughs> I'll probably trade it. I don't think that's going to happen. But uh, anyway, that's on the frontal lobe today. Uh, story time is over. Let's uh, take a look at these uh, markets here. So this is uh, U.S. rates, the long end or the sort of 10-year end of this curve. Down at 365, these are new lows. Um, Dollar's not responding exactly how we thought it might. Um, just kind of treading water here. Dollar yen up at 138.60. was the low yesterday. Let's just have a look at these charts. Um, the absolute highs in Aussie 68, the figure 67.98. Have not reached them. 30 points away. <clears throat> the high yesterday. 78, I think we just sort of tickled that now. Um, that's, I don't know. I mean, this dollar should go a little bit lower with these rates here, but price action is telling us a, a, a different story here. Dollar CAD uh, is reflective of crude, which is now trading on the 78 handle, 78.32. Um, this isn't doing too much, but it's staying on the low end because crude uh, is now back bid again. Let's quickly look at EuroCAD. I already know this is a pretty fun chart. Uh, yesterday, big turn bar here. We're going to look to sell EuroCAD today. Um, this is one of our main themes, either up near 139.30 or down through 138.60. 138.60 is going to be a little bit tr trickier because EuroCAD's never really a momentum play. Um, just isn't unless there's CAD or Euro releases. Uh, and there's really not much going on today. ECB, Jonix Speaks, 950. Uh, consumer Confidence out of France. GDP out of Germany, which was actually 11 minutes ago. GDP is stronger out of Germany, 1.7. No. GDP out of Germany. Let's see here. I don't even know. Um, let's pretend we don't even care about GDP out of Germany. Anyway, um, it's not really a break trade, so you got to be careful down here. If you're going to momentum trade this for 138.60, you can't leave a 139.30 stop. That's 90 ticks. What are you going to try and make 900? Um, so you just got to be careful and maybe trade for an average. But anyway, EuroCAD is, is a focus for us today. Let's look at cable. 
totally got fucked in cable yesterday. We were short at the open, uh, right around 05, traded down to 60. Fair enough, we did trade to a better average, um, and, you know, we were short. Our average was 121.20, and we were feeling pretty good about that, and we were like, that's going to be safe. Um, no, that was not safe. We went up to 50, uh, 53. Uh, so cable was, you know, cable was a wash yesterday. Thought we had a good one, but alas, no. Um, and why was it? Why did we get fucked? Uh, Euro sterling, right? Euro sterling. You can see this bar here, 86.01 down to 85.70. Uh, just Euro sterling jammed through the lows. Um, just a pain in the ass that uh, that euro sterling and I don't know what's wrong with these charts today anyway euro sterling screwed us what else we got out here dollar yen went down to 04 yesterday and now we're just sitting here at 60 uh, this should be lower with rates lower I definitely would not be long dollar yen but certainly don't want to really short it here. You know, there's no real good place to leave your stop. Dollar Swiss, uh, another turn bar here. This, you know, we're, we're, we're long Dollar Swiss um, just because it's a little bit overextended, just because of this daily bar here. Euro Swiss is helping us. Euro Swiss was up a little bit higher yesterday. Let's look at that Euro Swiss chart. Um, Again today, up another sort of 25 ticks. So even as Euro goes higher, Dollar Swiss does not really go lower right now because Euro Swiss seems to be bid. Um, look, there seems to be some sort of order here um, at 98.40. So we'll see if we can clear 40. Definitely not a break trading currency. There it is, 40 right there. Um, but anyway, we're long Euro Swiss. This gets a little bit more interesting if we can get through 46. We're long dollar Swiss, sorry, if it gets through 46, which is almost right now. I got to pay attention a bit. What else is out there? Uh, not really too much. Equities uh, playing around at the highs. The 200 day is at. Um, is at uh, 4068 or something, so that should be some f resistance first time. Um, again, it's the Friday after Thanksgiving, so a lot of people are going to take this day off in New York. So the liquidity will be lower in New York, but all of Europe is in. So this morning it should be fine. Uh, just to wrap things up, we got EuroCAD on the frontal lobe. We're going to be left hand side EuroCAD. Uh, and we are long dollar Swiss from yesterday and we are not trading this for average we're just holding this um, and we're looking for sort of 9550 so uh, let's see if we can grab grab some more pips in dollar Swiss and let's see what happens with Eurocad anyway um, that's all we got crypto is getting its ass ripped um, all red in crypto Sam Bankman Freed is going on stage uh, next Wednesday. Like, honestly, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't understand any of this. Like, he should be in solitary confinement uh, as far as I'm concerned. But anyway, uh, we'll get to that next week. We'll see if, if he ends up going on stage. Certainly his lawyers are going to tell him not to, but we'll have to see about that. All right, I've said enough now. Uh, good luck on this Friday. Have a good weekend. Make some dough today if you can. And I will see you when I see you. Ciao. Bello. Bellissimo. Goodbye.